back here. So it's like, that's kind of the thing is like sometimes I have that like inner monologue about like FD because like I play someone like Angel and he'll just go for like up smash, up smash back here. You get like you know like 60 or so damage while I'm like trying to go for chain grab, but then you mess one up and then you only get like 17 damage yeah, or whatever you know. You can do whatever you want, but you always catch up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that down smash. So just like sometimes it might, maybe it's a better idea to just take the easy stuff. Yeah, true. Oh, that was nice. Alright. Oh, um, gives him the yeah, that was kind of. I think the, the idea was there, but um, the execution was not. It was for up smash. Um, that's just gonna be um, DI dependent. I, th I think if um, Null DI is like hard out, then. That up smash isn't gonna connect, but if it doesn't, then he's still in hit stun and he can probably get shine. So like, there's all sorts of stuff that could have happened there. Yeah. Uh, Noel goes for hard up smash. Again, that's just like the not optimal stuff. If he went for like up throw up air, um, he could have gotten more damage. And like when you're down, you de I, don't, I just feel like you don't want to take the easy punishes. You want to take like more of a, I guess more of a risk, just because like you need to make up that ground, you know? Yeah. Okay, so he, he waited for the spot dodge, but um, his timing is just a little bit off. Um, pretty good edge running from Noel, but um, not quite enough. Yeah, I mean, he covered like most options, but um, he didn't cover them all really well. He did cover them like very well, I guess I'm trying to say. Alright, wave shines all the way across the screen. I like that up tilt, or the down tilt, because it's like, it's a DI mix up, because like, no one... Yeah, and it's essentially like, it's a, it's kind of a weak launching kind of move. Like, it can, um, if you just DI straight in, then Fox can just like, get an easier follow up. It's like when she goes for like a, uh, like what I was talking about last, last match, where you just go for the DI mix up and you like, you forward tilt again, or you like, you do like a weak, weak move for that purpose. Damn. That was a call out. Oh, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get the ledge or go up higher. Yeah. Not even gonna firebird. I'm just gonna force it. Um, something I've noticed is that like, oh, he's trying to yeah, do it again. Yeah. But you can't do it. But, um, something I've noticed. Oh gosh. I lost, I lost my, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Oh yeah. What I was gonna say is, um, if you watch, um, high level fox videos, they don't go for side B that often, just because like. What you can do with Firefox is you can adjust what option you're going. Like you can have a plan in your head of like, yeah. You can have a plan of what you want to do, but you can see like last second like that someone also realizes that you're gonna do that. So the beauty of like Firefox is that like, you can change your mind halfway through, you know. Whereas like with side B, you do have shorts which are nice, but um, if someone's just gonna decide to just cover all the side B options, then you're just kind of SOL. Yeah. All right, and that's gonna be a two stock from Team Fox. Super convincing. Uh, from, from the first game, it was like, what's up? Who is? The melee community in the nutshell. Team Fox. Damn. Is he here? Well. Yeah, talk to me about it later. Alright. SD showing out. SD showing out. Through SD emotes in the chat. <laughs> Shout out to Tino Joe beating Alex19. Tino Joe, for anyone who doesn't know, is like like literally like 16 or 17 years old and he beat Alex19 at SSS. Win. Yeah. What's a great tag? I'm only week? here for Trackleman. Was it last week? Yeah. It was the most recent SSS. Yeah. Fuck. 